So they saying that boy signed a super quadruple max, bro. I heard he signed something worth almost 300 million, bro. Bro, fresh off his rookie contract too is crazy. All I don't know is that this, whatever this is, is probably well deserved. But also give my man Ant a super max, bro. Ant needs a super trooper max. Million. Oh, so it was 260. Okay, let's read this. It says, Justin Charlotte Hornets all-star LaMelo Ball is finalizing a five-year des des designated maximum contract extension. That's worth up to 260 million. League sources tell the athletic and the stadium. That's crazy. 260, bro, do the math. So 260 for five years is what? 26 divided by 5.50. So, like, damn it, like 51, like 52 million is a year is wild. Who else, who makes, but I think the highest player right now is like Jokic or something. I don't even think he makes that much. That's crazy. Shams brought the news that LaMelo was signing a maximum contract extension. Remember, they asked him. How much do you want to be in Charlotte long term? Do you feel like this is the place for you? Uh, play about a day. I mean, I, like I said, I love it out here. So, I mean, I can't really tell the future. Just see how it goes and go from there. What was the future? Now is the present. Hmm. Mello has decided to stay, and the fans are loving it. Two fans wearing LaMelo's Chino Hills jersey. This small market team's fans welcomed LaMelo with open arms. And they gained new fans because LaMelo was known worldwide. From Chino Hills to overseas, he had a loyal fan base. So when the Hornets drafted him, it was a W, a rare W. So what more can you tell us about the Hornets locking up LaMelo long term? Uh, just this is the obvious move, the move they had to do. Obviously, LaMelo's had some issues staying healthy, to say the least. I know I sound like a broken record here, but when you're in a market like Charlotte and you have a player like LaMelo Ball, what we've seen from him when he's been on the floor has been nothing short of sensational. Yes, on the court, he's been progressing phenomenally, but he spent a lot of time off the court. He's Wait, but I like this, though. It says, okay, his first year, he missed 21 games with a wrist injury. Second year, 24 games with a ankle. Third year, 19 games? Okay, bet. So he played like what? He played like 61 games? Now nah, that's tough. Right? 61? Why am I tweaking? He played like 62, 63, because it's what, an 82 game season? He had like, I think, 63 games? Okay. Missed 31% of the games. That's valid. Wrist, ankle. ankle. Wait, but that doesn't even make the cut, because I'm sure this is deal is going to like, you're going to have to make all stars, all NBAs, and that type of shit. And he has to be what? play at least 65 games to be even eligible so you're, you're gonna have to 21 22 23 every season has been tainted and because of that they haven't been able to get past the play-in but with all that being said Lamelo still is breaking records imagine if he played 95 percent of the games instead of 69 but if he was doing so well why didn't his brother leangelo get pulled up let's talk about g3 Everyone knows he had limited minutes in the Summer League and then sat on the bench in the G League, despite coming out on fire in both. Both of your brothers are now active in the NBA. You had a moment in the NBA. I'm on my way, though. I, I had to take a little detour. Oh, we're going to get into it? Oh, you know, it's early. We, we got time. <laughs> as you've seen, Leangelo is still as confident as ever in making the NBA. A lot of people have said LaMelo would not re-sign with the Hornets because the Hornets did not play Leangelo. But since LaMelo is resigning, that leads us to ask the question, did he have something in his deal included about bringing LiAngelo on the team? Is Jello's confidence based on his skill alone, or does he know something we don't know? LaMelo does have a lot of leverage. Jordan is engaged in serious talks to sell majority stake in the franchise sources told the Indiana That's Hubbard. crazy, bro. This nigga MJ really sold it. I thought MJ was, bro, I thought he was going to maybe do something this past I mean, never mind. He has he's had the team for like 15 years now and did nothing, bro. Jordan did go on to sell the majority stake in the Hornets. There is a lot of speculation on why MJ did this. Question is, did this affect LaMelo re-signing with them? And how does it affect the way they handle LiAngelo going forward? Some people think the purported beef between LaVar and MJ was real. Cap. But if Melo's older brother G gets on the team now, that might have some credibility. LaMelo's re-signing might also explain the draft this year. To add a little context, a few years ago when they drafted LaMelo, they got him because they said he was the best player on the board. They weren't trying to draft for position because that is not a winning successful way to do it. 
But in this year's draft, Mitch went against what he said he would do. Scoop Henderson was on the draft board, and he skipped over him to get a wing instead of a guard. This could have secretly been a stipulation. We will never know. But what we do know is LaMelo is solidified there. Now, the other elephant in the room is Miles Bridges. Nah, that His status Miles. was in question for a while, and this was LaMelo's best friend on the team, it seemed. Just days before LaMelo's contract extension was announced, Miles was extended an offer as well. And this definitely could have played a huge role in LaMelo re-signing. Not only because they're friends, but because on the court, they make it happen. People forget that Miles was playing like an all-star at one point. He jumps out of the gym, he shoots it from three, he can guard one through four, and together their game is limitless. Now, we can't leave this video without talking about Far. Man, but what y'all think, though? Jim, he what y'all think about that boy Miles, bro? Because I know he was, bro, he was cold. He averaged 21, bro. I don't know nothing about his legal situation, but, bro, I just hope that shit ain't real, bro. I'm just praying. I'm just hoping that nobody actually got hurt in that shit. I hope those photos and shit is fake. I know it's most likely real, but I'm just hoping, bro. Because me, you hoping for it not to be real doesn't hurt. No, I mean, he's already damaged and shit. But, like, if she actually didn't get hurt, it's better to just think that way. That's what I think. So, I'm just hoping everything is just cap, bro. Like, just cap. Please be cap. But, yeah, no, I think he's going to go crazy, bro. He's going to go crazy this season. And together, their game is... I thought the NBA was going to kick the nigga now, out, we can't too. leave this video without talking about LeVar. Yeah. Because everybody's probably going to be asking, how does LeVar feel about this? Because he hasn't always loved the way that the Hornets have handled LaMelo as far as the pace of the game, as far as when they had him on the bench when he was first going there. And he definitely hasn't always loved the way that they have treated LiAngelo. But like I said, we don't know the stipulations of this contract. Is LiAngelo included? If he is, LaVar is going to be very, very happy about this. But full transparency, I haven't spoken to LaVar yet about this. I just heard the news and got in the lab. $260 million for five years. Not too shabby if you ask me. Now it's just about his durability. The hell? Can he stay healthy a full season? Oh, Will nah. You remember after he got drafted, nigga got, he flooded his teeth out, bro. He's finna, bro, he's gonna go crazy with this $260 million bag, bro. Where ankle supports, will he drop a shoe with ankle support? Maybe his style of play, that would just prohibit his mobility. But you gotta be healthy to play at all. So let's hope that this gets worked out. Uncle Mello had a niece. Now Uncle Mello's got a nephew with the addition of Lavello. Yes, a lot of things going on in the ball. Wait, he got two kids? Oh, no, he's talking about his two siblings. Family. Okay. Many people want to know, where is Lonzo? He wasn't in your video about the baby I heard that nigga Lonzo is done for the season again. He just missed last season. So he's missing two seasons back to back. Oh, bro, is good. Where bro. could this brother be? <clears throat> Honestly, I don't know. But I'm hoping the best. I keep hearing people say his career is over. I don't think so. I don't believe so. I hope it's not. But I'll definitely be here to update you when the news drops on Lonzo, how his surgery went, how he's progressing. I'll even update you on what Jello is going to do next. Is he going to go to the NBL or did LaMelo make sure that Jello is going to get included by signing this contract? Let me know in the comment section, what do you think about LaMelo re-signing with the Hornets? Do you like it? Do you love it? Do you hate it? This is Ball Facts. I've been bringing it for a minute, y'all. Nah, this is cool. This is a calm little video. I ain't gonna lie. Shout out Ball Facts. If y'all know who he is, tap in with him, man. But yeah, though, man, what y'all think about that contract? I think it's, uh, it's well-deserved, but also just give my nigga Ant, too. Don't forget about Ant. Anthony Edwards, if y'all ain't know who that was.